prices in the Heber Valley as well as Jordanelle have seen a huge increase and are rising rapidly. And that is mainly due to Deer Valley's announcement of their expansion. Now, if you're new to my channel or you've never been here before, you might have stumbled upon this video. And if you don't know, Deer Valley's expansion was originally going to be called Mayflower Mountain. It was going to be a brand new ski area. Since then, they've entered into an agreement with Deer Valley, making this whole area become Deer Valley. So as we dive into this article here by KPCW, our local news station, Deer Valley expansion drives up real estate prices in Wasatch County. So properties for sale near the new Deer Valley East Base Village have seen a jump in prices since the ski resort announced their major expansion. Last summer, Deer Valley announced it would take over the terrain that was envis envisioned for what was previously Mayflower Mountain Resort in Wasatch County. Now, Wasatch County is significantly benefiting from Deer Valley operating this, this new expanded terrain essentially and this is it this is very good news if you're a property owner or if you own real estate or if you're thinking i mean if you're thinking about buying real estate prices are going up this is good news for you because it just i mean it makes your asset worth more money so last summer deer valley announced it would take over the terrain envisioned for what was previously the mayflower mountain resort in wasatch county Move increases the resort's skiable terrain by nearly three times and gives Deer Valley a new, easily accessible base area along US 40, along US Highway 40 from the Jordanelle Reservoir. Park City Multiple Listing Service said real estate prices in the area have seen a jump since the Deer Valley announcement. I've been saying this forever, you guys. The prices up here, I've just been watching this area. They just keep going up. They keep going up. They keep going up. I told you about three years ago in a video when Mayflower Lakeside was first going in, I said, just wait. In two or three years, this area is going to be more expensive than Park City because everything is all new, everything, all new construction. And you are literally across the street from Deer Valley East Base Village, right? So if you're on that when you're coming from Park City and you're going down to Heber, if you land on that right side of the freeway, right, that's going to be Velvier, Pioche, that's where the Jordan L. Gondola is, that's where Deercrest is, that's where the Deer Valley East Base Village is going to go, and then you've got Marcella Club, right, ski in, ski out of state lots, you're paying three and a half million dollars just for the dirt. And then on the other side of US 40 is the Jordan L. Marina, and there's uh, the Shores, Village at the Shores, those are some of the older townhomes and condos that have been there forever. There's the Mason, which is a new hotel condo project, which is almost sold out. I believe there's only two remaining units that are in the new building, and she only has a few left that are in the vintage building. And then there's also Mayflower Lakeside, which is going to be 200 townhomes and 180 condos. Now, I know Deer Valley originally, Deer Valley Lodging is one of my favorite property management companies. They just really have their stuff together. They're really, really good at what they do. They manage properties really well. And I was hosting an open house at my Mayflower Lakeside townhome and Deer Valley Lodging came by. And originally I was like, hey guys, like you originally said you weren't going to cross over US 40, like you were going to stay on kind of like the Pioche, Velvier, Marcella Club side, like Deercrest side. And they were poking their nose around this whole Mayflower Lakeside area. They were even going up into Sky Ridge um, for possibly considering putting some homes in their portfolio, which means if Deer Valley is poking their nose around in Mayflower Lakeside, around Sky Ridge, then that means that this whole area has basically become Deer Valley. Deer Valley East, or what was previously for, referred to as Mayflower, that market has completely changed. We're seeing average prices up 30 or 40% in this area. So again, you guys, I'm telling you, the prices around the Jordanelle are really going up. This is a place where you want to get in now before everybody catches on. And if you were able to get in really early, good for you because your investment 
just keeps getting better. Park City Board of Realtors president said the Deer Valley effect is also hitting the broader Wasatch County housing market. I believe back in December, I was talking to some neighbors that lived across the street from us that recently moved to Midway. And I was telling him, I was like, you guys, everything that's happening at Deer Valley East Base Village, like is making Heber and Midway a ski town. Like it's going to become a ski town. So this just confirms what he said. Heber and Midway are becoming ski towns. Clients who were looking for ski properties are now willing to kind of explore more around the Jordanelle, more around the Heber area. And these are places that they were not willing to go before. So according to the Realtors first quarter report of 2024, which I've already done a Park City market update about the median price of a single family home in the Heber Valley. So this is actually wrong is 945. And I know that because I literally just made a video about it sharing like the actual number on the spreadsheet. So that's compared to 3.7 million in Park City, 2.3 in the Snyderville Basin and 925 in the Camas Valley. So again, if you want to land in the Heber area, you're 945 for a median price compared to 37 in Park City, which is the 84060, or 23, which is the 84098, which is out in the basin. And then Camus, you're at 925. Condo sales increased 61% in Heber and 30% around the Jordanelle compared to the year prior. And that's because of the new inventory, right? Everything that's going on uh, Jordanelle Ridge wise in Heber, like the Coyote Ridge, the Lennar homes, the Toll Brothers homes, like this is basically like condo townhome pricing. So as you see, what is coming on over there is a lower priced inventory coming out of the ground, right? It's primarily the townhome pricing. This is kind of where the entry level is going to come in, right? It's the sub 800,000 townhome pricing, like Coyote Ridge, Lennar homes, Toll Brothers, you know, a bunch of other builders are going to be going in here. I also have done kind of an update about Jordan L. Ridge in a KPCW article in a previous video. So listings across the Wasatch back remain 20 to 30 percent lower than the historical average before the COVID-19 pandemic. But overall, Park City Realtors describe the market as being stable and moderate. So I really wanted to share this video with you because, you know, I want some backup on some of this stuff. Like I've been telling you what these numbers are, what I've been feeling in the market. And it's always good to have backup from other real estate agents who are like, yes, this is what's happening in the market. I oftentimes get buyers who call me and they're like, find me a deal. And I just look at that phrase and I'm almost like, find you a deal? Like you want a deal in Park City and Deer Valley? Let's just think about this for a second. So a deal in terms of what our prices are, right? Like the colony, when you have $20 million homes and then one comes up for 10 or 12, that's a deal, okay? When you've got properties that are $7 million in a neighborhood and one comes up for five, that's a deal. So the stakes are much higher here for real estate prices. Like you're not going to find something that's like $300,000, $200,000, a million dollar deal, right? Those really like don't exist. You have to understand the intricacies of the neighborhood and the price points that you're dealing with. Every single neighborhood's different. Every single area is different. Every single subdivision is different, right? What's happening on the Deer Valley East Bay side village of the Jordanelle is a lot different than what's happening over in Hideout, right? Hideout's market is a lot slower in terms of single family homes. However, like the townhomes over there are going really, really fast because Shoreline is a freaking smoking deal for what they have. The real estate, you're getting a really nice townhome at a really good price with an amazing, gorgeous, drop dead, gorgeous view of the whole lake and Deer Valley and Space Village and Bald Mountain and Deer Crest. Like it's absolutely insane. So it just depends on what you're looking for and what your price point is. But usually when somebody's like, I'm looking for a deal or I'm looking for something cheap, that's always like those words are like, you've got to be joking me. You've got to be kidding me. Like, <laughs> what well, what's a deal in your mind? I guess the question would be, well, what's a deal to you? Right. At what price do you think this would be a deal at? And most of the time, like what you are thinking, like if you're looking for for low-priced real estate, then Park City, 
the Wasatch back is really not for you, right? If you're looking for luxury vacation property rentals, second home, or looking to relocate here, and you're looking for something that is going to have a ton of appreciation and you're parking your and you want to park your money in a very strong and stable market, then you are buying for the right reasons because we have a really strong market. It's the appreciation is crazy, right? We're almost it's like 6.7%. A kind of rolling average since 2001 of the appreciation here. Like you buy here and you hold. It's not really a place that you buy for cash flow because we're seasonality. We're not a tropical area. We're not Florida. We're not a warm climate. We're cold. We're four seasons and we're seasonal, right? Summer is starting to get a little more popular, but it's still not quite as popular as winter. And we very much do have mud seasons, right? Like May, literally nobody was in town. I think everyone is out of town. Shoulder season is back. Like we're way back to normal. When COVID was here, like we didn't have shoulder seasons because everyone was here and the, the supermarkets were busy and the gas stations were busy and everyone was outside and the trails were busy. And now it's kind of like we're back to normal again. Like people are traveling the world's open. People are traveling to other places. Like we actually do really have mud season again. It's like May is very much a very slow month. And that's probably going to trickle into the fall too, right? October and a little bit of November is really, really slow. People don't start coming here until really like Christmas time. And then January and then February is a really hot time to ski. And so is March because every school right? When school's out, every state has a different spring break. So there's always somebody here from Georgia or South Carolina or Texas here on different weeks. So March is a really crazy, busy time too. Hey, what's up? My name is Nicole Bowdle. I'm a local real estate agent in Park City, Utah. I've lived here for 38 years. If you're thinking about buying or selling real estate and you wish to contact me, my information is always dropped down in the description link down below.